So what do you guys think of this new tissue paper? I really like it. I'm doing a bit of rebranding. Um, or not as much rebranding, but just kind of upping my packaging a bit. And I was thinking of getting custom printed tissue paper. But when I was comparing the kind of cost between having that made and just making really fun, colorful packaging with some custom printed tape and stickers, I thought that might be, you know, worked just as well in a way. But yeah, I really like uh, these different colors. I've got pink coming as well. I like pink. And then I've got these sort of hemp strings. So they're biodegradable. And uh, if I remember correctly, their their inks are, you know, eco-friendly or kind of plant-based dyes or something. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I know I was searching for that and then these popped up. And here are just some uh, thank you cards that I'm making to go out with pre-order. So this is the kind of the front of them. They're going to be folded, so this is the front and back, and then the inside says thank you, and it's got um, some some extra information and that kind of stuff. If you guys look at these ones as well, so these ones printed with the right colors, but earlier my printer went out, um, it ran out of ink. And so they printed out like this at first, and I thought, you know, that looks, you know, doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it's just because it was going to be uh, blue, and it came out all green and gray, and not very colorful at all. And here is my <laughs> big stack of art prints that we're gonna be cutting today. Oh, I'm actually seeing now that the printer ran out of blue halfway through here, so these ones are gonna go up in my shop as seconds. With the bookmarks, I just wanted to find um, a way of, you know, using that space so that the paper didn't just go to waste. And on the back of all of these, I put a little you know, secrets of the muck pattern. fly away heading towards town I've seen a thousand suns too many pretty sights have crossed my way but you'll always be beautiful a little boy a little girl playing love games in the middle of it all a little kiss, a little touch, yeah, it's all it takes, no for sure. Auburn eyes, a single bed, staring at the ceiling, slowly lean your head. Put it on my shoulder and I close my eyes, praying for this night to never end. In many lovely nights We stars that shine as far as I could see But you'll always be beautiful to me We started that shine as far as I could see But you'll always be beautiful Holding close, holding tight Let the moon slowly take over on the night The sky has never been clearer than now Why the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze Without you here to keep me warm Believe I'd rather freeze Believe I'd rather freeze And how long can we walk that line Between the sea and sand 
How long can we bide our time for dreams we never planned? For dreams we never planned. When the sky said the winter time was coming on, and you cried to see a shadow babe was growing long across the lawn. A song. It's Tuesday night, it's 3 a.m. I ought to be asleep. If only I could tell you all about the dreams I keep. Or oh, about the dreams I keep. I wake up every morning and Wasted all the day. I turn it all around if I could only hear you say that you were here to stay. When the sky said the winter time was coming on, and you cried to see a shadow. Another song City glow. I still recall the nights when I could hear you breathing low, and I caught you breathing low. But it's too late to turn around, too cold to go outside. I wonder if I saw this love, there's anything beside another place to hide. When the sky said the winter time is coming on, and you cried to see a shadow, babe, it's growing long across the lawn. Another song. So as you know, I cut all of the art prints yesterday, I thought, but it turns out that I forgot about the flower moon crab. I was printing them and thinking, why are there only 28 when there should be 29? And I just assumed that I counted wrong, but I didn't. So here these guys are coming. Say hi to some lucky keychains while we're waiting for that to print. Here's the full window if anyone's curious. I need to uh, scrape off those tape pieces at some point. I'm gonna, I'm thinking I might put some flowers along the, the window. What do you guys think? What would be cute? And here I am with my, my prints. And look who finished printing. I, I printed the bookmarks a bit at random, to be honest, as I, I think I said yesterday, it was only done so that I wouldn't uh, waste the paper and now I'm just putting them in as freebies for, for everyone who made a order. I am also researching lemurs. I love lemurs. I really want to make some more lemur pins and so now I'm just looking at the, the different ones that are there. I guess. Look at all of these beauties. So this is the Indri, which is a type of lemur, and this is the black and white ruffed lemur. 
Look at this. This is the mongoose lemur. Wow. Look how many different species there are, though. I mean, if I even if I kind of. It's incredible. I fall down when you're mine. I get up and you're a stranger. Out of sight, out of mind. No wanting to surrender. That was a lot of unboxing. Those are the, uh, I don't know if you saw uh, last week's studio vlog, but we made uh, the Lotto backing cards in that vlog. So I'll leave a link below if you want to check that out. Um, and now I need to find a place to actually store those because they are not going out for another month or maybe even two months, depending on how production goes. So yes, we'll, <laughs> we'll have to find a way to place them. Um, should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> do that. I also thought I'd show you guys this because I um, um, I've been I've been shopping with Solo Press for a very long time the uh, the company that makes my backing cards and stuff and they usually put them let me see if I can get one from here they usually put their cards if you order less than two thousand of one you get them in these plastic things uh, and for the longest time I was just sending them to recycling but then when I did my Mermaids of the Earth project I realized just how convenient they are for storing uh, second pins. I don't tend to store my A-grade pins like this, um, I don't know why actually, because this is not really going to scratch them, but I think I'm just a bit superstitious about it, so I tend to only have my seconds pins in these. So that's a bit of, you know, repurposing, reusing, and eventually they'll go to recycling, you know, when, when the day comes when I don't need them anymore. <laughs>
And welcome to the last day of the studio vlog. So you've just seen me uh, pack some packages, some boxes that were going out. And yeah, I just came back from the post office. And that that is kind of it for today, to be honest. Um, I am right now working on some kind of restock designs and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of printmaking and, and that sort of stuff. So this is the exciting restock file that I'm working on right now. I'm just ordering in some extras of some of the pins that are running uh, low in my store. And these ones, um, this one, in this one, and this one are just new variations of uh, pins that I've made before. So with the mantis shrimp, I'm basically making it the, the exact same as last time, but he's going to be in silver plating instead of rainbow. And with the nudie branks, I'm just making some new variations for them. Um, it's kind of just for fun, um, fun to try out. New color palettes and that kind of stuff. And then down here, we also have some Arctic Nova restocks. So this is a project I did with Georgina Swift, and I'll put a link in the description to her shop as well, if you want to check out her designs for that collection. But yeah, so these ones have been sold out for uh, quite a while, so I'm just restocking them a bit now. So yes, um, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.